For 2024 housing market, uh, we saw new listings and home sales remain low, but available inventory and unsold homes um, was kind of thick falling, but it had a lot to do with raising mortgage rates back in October. Of course, we saw a lot less listings come on the market. Plus, it's the holiday season. Quite Most of the rest of the country starts to get really cold. San Diego is the beneficiary of great weather all <laughs> year long. So, you know, you see a little bit less inventory, but... In general, it's less, but it looks like at the end of 2023, we'll actually have more inventory and home prices are going to stay. Yeah, yeah. I saw homes on Seoul currently, 556,000 yeah. currently nationwide. Yeah. That's crazy. That's like, think about that, that inventory. What's our population right now? 300, close to 350 like, million. Yeah. And <laughs> we have 556 thousand yeah. homes available on a fraction of a fraction of like, a percent yeah. like <laughs> this is just incredible and that's yep. all you know that's uh two uh, that was 2.2 percent more homes than last year yeah and that's interesting too because you know more homes this year under contract than at the end of 2022 is interesting because again rates were lower then than they are now correct uh, and we're coming out of flirting with this eight percent rate back in october which is just nuts to me still uh but it was it is what it is but i'm just glad that we are seeing more houses under contract people are thawing out to this idea that hey this is probably what it's going to look like and if i want to get into a home i'm gonna have to get in a home have that long view on it and just take it down yeah yeah and I mean, guys, here's to give you an idea. I, I ended up seeing this graph. It was pretty uh, crazy. But in 2016, 17 and 18, we had over a million, little over a million homes on the market. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. And then it wasn't until 20, 2019, 2020 it, that we only had about 800 plus yeah. Yeah. homes available. 2020. 21, like uh, towards we started getting COVID in the beginning, that's when rates went down. Yep. We started seeing inventory starting to drop big time. Yep. And that's when we started seeing that 500,000 more or less homes available on an annual basis since then. Isn't that crazy though? That's yeah. So, and that's, that, that's not likely to get better until situations change for people. And exactly. I think that is coming in 2024. Yeah. I mean, Again, this the whole article is promising signs, and I think some of the promising signs is that you still have more demand than you have supply. So yeah. that's looking good for people who either have to sell or choose to Correct. sell in the new year. Uh, rates going down now relatively to the highs of just a couple of weeks and yeah. months ago. That's also a good sign. Uh, plus, you have the new conforming loan limits that just got released here a couple of weeks ago now. That Fannie and Freddie have new conforming limits for 2024. That's going to help people uh, that may have ended up getting a high balance loan or a jumbo loan pricing. That's going to be better. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I know that these are uh, generalities and this isn't true everywhere, but specifically to the conforming loan limit, you know, if you are in a high cost area, if you live in like a major m metropolis, a, bi a big metro, you're probably going to have a conforming loan limit that is higher than the new. Of course. One. So <laughs> as you're watching this, if you are outside of California or in most places in California, take a look at the conforming loan limits in your local county because they are most likely higher yeah. than the national uh, ones. So, but you know, here we are as we're talking with lower rates. Now we're now we know that if this happened in 2020, 21, right? Rates were low. Now we know that there's going to be more demand. Yeah. Yep. So what's that? Gonna, what's going to happen with our inventory? Yeah. It's going to diminish. Yep. Yeah. So here we go again. 2023. Yeah. Here we go again. 2022. Bidding. That's correct. I say there's going to be a small wave of. I mean, I'm predicting a wave of inventory. But as soon as the rates come down, it's going to get swarmed up, and then just going to be. Yeah. And that's why, right, right? If you're a if you're a owner and yeah. your interest rate is low, well, what's your carrying cost on something like that? Mm -hmm. Your cost for real estate is much lower. Yeah. So you want to you have the tendency of holding on to it longer. Yeah, and that's what's happening. That's what we're seeing here. Yeah, and another I think positive sign that this this article highlights is that the price reductions are tapering off. So uh, price reductions are receding um, for the new year cycle with thirty eight point seven percent of the homes on the housing market taking a price re uh, cut in the last week. Now, before you freak out, before anyone else watching this freaks <laughs> out, oh, 38% took it. I told you home prices are sinking. Hold on. That is, the volume is very low, like we've already been talking about. Yeah. So this doesn't drag down the national home price index at all, really, or at all, because you will still see that the median price of a single family home in the United States was $425,000, which was 2% higher than the same period last year. Yeah. So year over year, it's actually still higher, despite there being price reductions, which seem super high. Um, price reduction, uh, the, the amount of homes being price reduced. But here's the thing. If there are a hundred homes, that only means thirty-eight of them had 
price reductions. Correct. We're not talking about a thousand homes where three hundred and eighty. <laughs> it was out of like a hundred. So it's relatively proportionate, guys. Everyone take but, a chill pill. Yeah, but the good thing is we in comparison to last year, Andy, that dive was much a, yeah. a, a bigger steeper. dip. Yep. It was steeper than it was last year. Yep. So uh, it's telling us that the homes, because of the rates, are also higher than last year. You know, their sellers are just saying, "Hey, let's yeah. just incentivize and let's just drop this. Let's 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 get moving." If you had a lot more homes that yeah. were dr- doing price reductions, that'd be a different story. It's just there's so few that are, even though 38 percent sounds like a scary number, <laughs> it's just volume wise, like unit per unit, it's just not that many total. So it's not really anything to freak out about. There you go. Uh, all in all, I think things are looking up for the housing market in 2024. Definitely better than 2023, and right now, no indications that it's going to be any worse.